Now, over in Indonesia, a shock verdict for the outgoing governor of Jakarta, Basuki Jahajam Pernama, was slapped with a two-year jail term for committing blasphemy against Islam. He was then immediately taken to prison to begin the sentence, despite him vowing to appeal the decision. The harsh punishment came as a surprise, given that prosecutors had only recommended two years of probation. Now, if you recall, Mr. Basuki, also known as Ahok, has been charged last December while running for another term in office. Well, our Indonesian correspondent with more. A long, drawn-out trial has come to an end. After more than four months of court hearings, a panel of five judges delivered its verdict in the blasphemy trial of outgoing Jakarta governor, Basuki Cahaya Purnama. They found Mr. Basuki legally and convincingly guilty of committing a criminal act of blasphemy and sentenced him to two years in prison. The verdict has stripped Mr. Basuki, or Ahok, of his right to govern Jakarta for the remainder of his term in office. Indonesia's Home Affairs Ministry says it has appointed his deputy, Jarod Saiful Hidayat, as acting governor until October, when the governor-elect Anis Baswedan and his running mate, Sandiaga Uno, will take over at City Hall. Anti-Ahok groups who had rallied nationwide against him for months welcomed the decision. Kami cukup puas, walaupun tidak sangat puas, dengan keputusan hakim yang sudah berani membuat keputusan yang menjadi wakil Tuhan di dunia ini. The youth wing of Indonesia's second largest Muslim organization also welcomed the verdict. Supporters of Mr. Basuki express disbelief at the outcome. Ini benar-benar di luar dugaan kami semuanya. Kami tidak bisa terima. Kami tidak percaya lagi hukum di Indonesia. Security had been on high alert ahead of Tuesday's final ruling. Police prepared 13,000 personnel to secure the area outside the courthouse should a clash ensue between the two groups. But tensions were eased in the aftermath of the verdict. The judge's decision shocked many because it was much harsher than what prosecutors had asked for. But legal experts told Channel News Asia that the ruling shouldn't come as a shock, as nearly all blasphemy cases in Indonesia result in prison time, and acquittals are rare. Chan Vatvani, Channel News Asia, Jakarta.